Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of order of operations and prime factorization. This is standard 6.7a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 16 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression that we need to simplify in. We've got a lot. We've got exponents. We've got parentheses. We've got all of it. So let's make sure we have our order of operations down. Hopefully when we are looking at this, we are thinking of PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And so this first level here is parentheses. So we're going to take care of any parentheses or brackets first. And the next level is going to be exponents. We actually have some exponents. And then the third level here is going to be multiplication or division, right? So we multiply or divide. And even though we have multiplication and division uh, listed kind of in that order, they are inverse operations. You could do division first if it comes left of multiplication. Same thing with your final level, add or subtract. They are inverse operations. They're what we do last, but if you see a subtraction first, going left to right, that's fine. So let's take a look at this particular expression. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to kind of make it nice and large, because what we're going to do is we're just going to do one simplification at a time rather than trying to combine them. That's how mistakes are made. Okay, so first, I'm going to look at parentheses. If there is an operation within the parentheses, right, I need, to, I need to take care of that operation, okay? So inside my parentheses, let's take a look at this, okay? Inside the parentheses, I've got a 4 squared minus 10, okay? So within that parentheses, I need to use the order of operations. So I've got a, an, an exponent and a subtraction within there which means that exponent actually comes first, okay? So I'm going to take care of this first within the parentheses because it's like a, an expression within an expression. So 4 squared means 4 times 4, so that's 16. All right? Now, within that parentheses, I have this subtraction. So I've done my exponent, and then I've done my uh, subtraction, so that's going to be 16 minus 10. I'm not dealing with this exponent because I'm, the parentheses says I have to take care of that first. So that comes next. 16 minus 10 is going to be 6. All right, so now the parentheses is gone because since I just have that number 6 in there, it's acting like a multiplication. Okay, so now I'm done with, with those two. So the parentheses is basically gone. I can rewrite that as 6 times 6 if I want to. So now I go back again and I look, all right, do I have any exponents outside of my parentheses? And yes, now it's time for me to take care of that. So 5 squared is not 5 times 2. That's 5 times itself, you know, twice, or 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 makes 25. All right, so I've got the 25. Remember, this is negative 6 times 6. Okay, so that goes down there. I don't have any exponents left. Now, I need to take care of any multiplication or division, whichever one comes first. And I see a multiplication right here. So I've got this negative 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 is 36, right? So 25, and then so that's going to be a negative 36, or minus 36, minus 3. So that goes to right there. Now that's it. I don't have any division. All I have left are addition and subtraction. And really, I can just do them left to right, okay? So I've got 25 minus 36. So it's going to end up being negative, right? Because 25 minus 25 gets me to 0, and then there's 11 left. So I'm going 11 to the left of 0. So that's negative 11. And then that minus 3, right? And then I need to take my negative 11, and then I move 3 more to the left. So it's really like adding, right? Negative 11 minus 3 is like 11 plus 3. Right, it's going to give me this negative 14 because it's moving farther to the left. So there we go. My answer here is D, negative 14.